Paul, thanks so much for coming by today. Thank you. For really me. appreciate it. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. So tell us about your role at Discovery. Sure. So my role is Executive Vice President of Strategy, Revenue, and Operations for the Discovery Science Animal Planet Portfolio. Um, what does that mean with a long title? Uh, it means, you know, at the very end of the day, I'm responsible for the P&L, but also I act as a person who's a kind of special projects across all of our portfolio and how we can both strategically position ourselves for the short run, but also for the long run. Um, so that's most of my role in my day to day. Give us a sense of, of what's most exciting right now. We know digital platforms are growing, connected TV devices are, are growing, and fundamentally we have, we, Discovery, right, have brands that people trust and have the ability to kind of migrate across those platforms. And I actually honestly think there's tremendous opportunity because the, expand, the kind of elasticity of our brands can also be kind of played with in that space because we can understand what does it mean to serve our traditional TV audience uh, through linear and then also through our kind of Go platforms, which is that kind of TVE experience, uh, but also the ability to experiment what, what does discovery mean to a 13 to 23 year old that's sitting on Snapchat. Not an easy trick taking an established brand and making it appealing and cool to younger generations of consumers. I can imagine that there was a lot of data and analysis and research that went into that. Of course. Um, for us, re research and data has always been an important part of our overall practice and how we think about investment of content, right? And now we have to look at it also against platform. Now, pulling the entire story of our consumer base across multiple platforms together, not easy, right? We know many people are working on those types of solutions with us, Nielsen or Comscore. Um, but what we're able to do is work with our own first party data, with third party vendors, and then with the Nielsen's and Comscores of the world to put together a comprehensive view of those consumers at, at, at various stages across different platforms. Uh, and that can therein inform kind of the content investment we make, but also how we actually think about the partnerships with our advertisers and affiliates and otherwise to be able to uh, develop new products and create new interactive experiences. Talk a little bit about the teams involved in bringing all that stuff to life. So the first thing we think about is the kind of proactive management, right? So where you look at what does your portfolio look like, you know, one, Eight, 12 months, 12 to 18 months out. Um, what are the points of integration you can do from a linear basis, which you know are kind of your uh, brand and branded entertainment spots, uh, your uh, IPMs, et cetera, that we can do as part of our traditional media package. But then we really dive deep into our partners across Go, social, uh, VR, and say, what are the other different touch points that we can do? Talk about mobile and how that's affected everything else. And, and maybe, it, uh, specifically how mobile has affected the audiences and, and the way people consume your, your products. We know that there's a tremendous amount of short form content that is being consumed through new platforms and social platforms like Facebook's new watch platform, uh, through kind of the Instagram stories platforms and otherwise. So in that environment we have to think about very quick storytelling elements. Uh, we have to think about a, a younger targeted consumer. We have to talk about somebody who's unbelievably savvy in the content that they actually consume. So we know we have to hit them very quickly and we need to have talent that's relevant and relatable for them. Paul, some great thoughts. Thank you so much for spending the time with us. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Pleasure speaking with you.